Good evening, MyOS. This is Mina Gobriel and Caroline Mitri reporting for BNN. Tonight, our top story, the tune of excitement resonates throughout the Coptic community as news of Bishop Mina's dramatic change in the liturgy quickly spreads. In an announcement he made yesterday, the bishop explained he'll be adding a new instrument to complement the heavenly sounds of the cymbals and triangles. That's right, Carolyn. The harmonica will now be incorporated into our holy liturgy. Here to discuss this radical change is none other than our very own Coptic expert panel, which consists of Kareem Tedros, president of the Coptic Urban Union, Angela El Sot, leader of the Coptic Choir, and John Lahma, CEO of Kiramina. Thank you for joining us. Oh, my harmonica. The Coptic Choir has been waiting for this day since the first time the harmonica was played during the enthronement of Pope Tardos II back in 2012. Honestly, it's about time that our Coptic hymns are expressed in a more up-to-date format. That's right, Angela. Ever since Bishop Mina introduced the harmonica, our Kofta sales have skyrocketed. I honestly think there's something in the harmonica melody that just makes people want to eat Kofta. Here at Kiramina, we couldn't be happier. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I would rather listen to babies crying in the mass than the harmonica. Uh, both of you are maganin. Kareem, you've been a long time opponent of the harmonica, and it seems as if nothing's changed. Now that the harmonica has been officially integrated into the Holy Liturgy, why do you still insist on continuing to advocate against it? I do not accept the harmonica as a legitimate component for the Holy Mass. I am sorry, you guys can call me old-fashioned, but things should not change. Karim, don't ruin this for us. A new instrument will revitalize the choir, an open church for different people. Yeah, Karim. Remember that coupon I gave you for Kiramina? Buy one, get one free? Well, forget about it! Karim, how do you then respond to the allegations that you yourself have a personal issue with the harmonica? Do you have any idea how it feels to be in a hot little room with several men doing uh, labor work while listening to this uh, harmonica instrument? Uh, I cannot do it. On um, behalf of everyone here at BNN, I would like to thank our Coptic expert panel for joining us to discuss this important issue. I have just been informed that we are now joined live by BNN's very own on-site correspondent to discuss the issue a little bit further with the Coptic youth at the Canadian Coptic Centre. Good evening, Caroline and Mina. It seems the hallways are filled with excitement as the bishop's change spreads throughout. I'm here with Kiro Youssef, Kiro, a grade 11 student. How do you feel about the change? I'm just trying to get to the gym right now. Can you let me through, please? Uh, that's an interesting response, but how do you think that the change will affect the traditions of the church? Look, guy, I don't care about any changes. All I care about is that I'm late for a basketball game and my friends. I see. Well, have you heard that the bishop has decided to close the gym? He did what now? No, he won't. Well, I did not see that coming. Now I'll be joined by Monica Fahim, who is also a high school student. Monica, how do you foresee the changes that the bishop made uh, to introduce the harmonica into the liturgy affecting the youth? Harmonica? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think it would be nice since the girls always wear uh, cover their heads during mass. Oh, cover their heads? Uh, yeah, I mean, it would be kind of weird since the uncles don't have anything to pin it to, but, you know, since we're moving towards equality and everything. I think, um, are you referring to the yarmulke? Oh, yes. Awkward. Is this going to be on TV? Yeah, actually, we're recording live for BNN. Oh, oh my gosh. Follow me on Twitter at mun1f, hashtag harmonica monica. Okay, well that was interesting. Um, it seems that the, ch the Coptic youth are way more interested in the, ch in the changes in Twitter and basketball than they are in the traditional changes in their liturgy. Which begs the question, should Pope Tawadros get his own Twitter account? Uh, well, this is Piera reporting live from BNN. Uh, is anyone even listening? We're still live. Oh, uh, am I fired? Well, um, thanks for that revealing report. Well. This has been BNN Reporting. Thank you for joining us tonight and stay classy, my OS.